Hello and welcome to another update video about ETH BTC. I think it's time to update it as we had quite a bit of a, a move to the upside in the last few days. First of all, let's start here on the, let's do the four day chart. Um, just to highlight the way I count it since the beginning, I'm counting it as a wave one to the upside. Um, always be aware that from an elliott wave point of view, these BTC charts, they are less reliable because the move to the upside is simply very clearly a three wave move. So it's an ABC. So you deal with unreliable corrective wave structures. Okay. So that's always a bit of a problem because it could of course mean that three waves up. Oh dear. What does that mean? It could be just a corrective wave followed by an impulse to the downside. Now, as you can clearly see, the move down is not impulsive. You also have a three wave structure. So you have three waves up, you have three waves down, uh, but the three waves down, they created a higher low. So that's why I'm counting it as a one, two setup. So the wave one would basically be the first wave in an even larger leading diagonal. At least that is how we can count it. Um, or, and that's the other option, this could just simply be an A wave, the move down a B wave and with a C wave to come. But even that should lead to a long term uptrend. So as long as and but only then as long as and that's the condition, this wave too low stays intact. And that is at what a point oh one six five five. Now it's quite a distance. But as long as that stays intact, the overall uptrend is in play. And that's why I count the current move to the upside a third wave. You could also argue it's a C wave. Yeah, doesn't make a great difference. But uh, the thing is, as a C wave, I couldn't count it as an ABC. But as a wave three, I can count it as an ABC because the wave one would be an ABC, the wave two, well, it is the WXY in this uh, structure, but it's a corrective structure. The wave three would be a corrective structure. The wave four would be, it's not in the chart here, and the wave five, which would be even higher. And all of that would create a wave one in an ideal case, okay? So what are we looking for here? I mean, it could be an ABC, as I said, but then this would be a one, this would be a two, this would be a three. Um, that is not so important at the moment. What is important at the moment, if we zoom in, um, we look at, because we assume that wave two bottomed here, that was in August, 2019 at 0.016 something, um, that this was wave two low. We assume we are now in a third wave to the upside. In the third wave, we have obviously the subwave structure, but within that, you know, within this A wave, we have five waves. So I'm counting this as a wave one where we topped in August, 2020. We bottomed in December 2020 in a wave two, then rallied in a third wave in da, 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 here, May 21, came down in a fourth wave and we could now be in the fifth wave, basically the last wave of this A wave. And in this last wave of the A wave, we are looking currently at, I probably need to go to the four hour chart for that. Yeah, we are looking at the, uh, as an, at one second. I need to zoom out a bit further, otherwise it's hard to see. Also here, we're looking at an ABC. And we've probably completed an A wave. We are now looking at a B wave, probably not complete yet, and then a C wave to the upside. At the moment, my interpretation is as follows, that we are in, within the B wave, we have another ABC structure which means that this C wave is probably not yet finished. Um, we're looking here at ideal targets for the C wave between here 0 0.0611 and 0 0.0533. This would be ideal, yeah, with um, actually the 0 0.0577 level being the ideal one. To be honest, I think I might need to extend it out further down looking at the subwave structure and that the fact that the 1.618 extension is 0 0.047. So this is sort of the range between 0 0.0611 and 0 0.04787. In this range, I would expect the B wave to bottom. We can be able to, we, we can be a bit more specific the closer we get, yeah? So we'll be able to narrow it down a little bit. Um, at the moment, I'm rather, I would rather be looking at the lower half of this support box for a trend reversal in a C wave. From a practical point of view, that means that Bitcoin should outperform Ethereum over the coming weeks. Still, that trend hasn't changed. So my, my comments from previous videos still remain. 
But after that, we should see a turn in this green box and the C wave. In the C wave, Ethereum should outperform Bitcoin again um, in line with a higher degree trend. But at the moment, the trend is down. But within this downtrend, we have a very, very small uptrend, as you can see. So we had a triangle pattern in a B wave that probably broke to the downside. At the time, I did warn you about that. We came down quite a bit, found support, reversed for now. But this move up is currently only in three waves, is in resistance, resistance for this wave too. So it's basically the idea is that we are now in a C wave to the downside. That is a five wave move. We probably just now complete a wave one and the wave two. So we're now in the wave two, which is an ABC structure. And in this ABC structure, in the C wave, we might get one more squiggle here to the upside. Because also there, in the C wave, we want to be able to count five waves. So wave one, two, three, four, five. Um, that view is valid as long as we stay above 0 0.0648. Getting below that would favor a direct breakdown. But until, as long as we're holding that, I'd be looking for one more wave to the upside, possibly targeting 0 0.0678, 0 0.0692, and 0 0.0711. 0 0.0711 is key resistance. A break above that level would make this particular scenario less likely. And it could then be that we're already in a breakout because a wave two should not retrace more than the 78.6 Fibonacci retracement. So these are the key levels that are relevant at the moment. My preference would be for it to continue to the downtrend, get one more wave to the upside before continuing the higher level trend to play out this C wave to the downside. But then eventually somewhere here, it should turn around to continue the even higher degree trend, which is actually up. So hopefully that makes sense, which means in the very, 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 very short term, Ethereum should outperform Bitcoin a little bit. Then, Bitcoin, Ethereum for the coming weeks, and then probably for the remainder of the year, Ethereum, Bitcoin. Um, you will have noted that uh, on the looking at the charts, I mean, Ethereum is above all the March highs, that Ethereum clearly outperformed Bitcoin over the last week or so. Um, I guess if we get this move down and Bitcoin starts to outperform Ethereum again, that could be the moment when Bitcoin breaks out to the upside. That's pure speculation at this stage, but it would add up nicely with the USD charts. Okay, that's my update about ETH BTC at the moment. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.